killer. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> you know what? I'm actually curious. <sighs> when was the last upload on the channel? When was the last upload? It was like a week ago now, right? It was like a week ago? Almost a week ago, yeah. Uh, definitely a week ago for Boruto, but six days ago, and so basically a week since the last Dragon Ball Super, Super episode. So, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, yes, I know it's uh, been a while since I have found anything to properly upload, mainly the Boruto episode, which I should have uploaded days ago, like at least on Sunday, but recently I have just been uh, super lazy and also kind of busy and distracted by a couple of things, just really tired all the time. Uh, finally found time to, you know, kind of get my dumb ass up, fucking, <laughs> fucking start recording and shit, and you know what, now I'm just gonna go ahead and record the fucking Boruto episode 26, and then after this I'm gonna record episode 27, and you may or may not see a double upload today, uh, it's, uh, it's Wednesday, so episode 27 is already out, uh, you're gonna be seeing this on Wednesday, hopefully, so anyways, you may or may not see a double upload, but you will see this on Wednesday, and whether or not something happens, you'll see the next episode tomorrow, so anyways, uh, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Boruto episode review. And uh, I kind of at first I liked episode 26, but then I kind of like started thinking back on a couple other stuff that happened throughout the episode. And now I'm kind of just like meh about it. Like the episode was actually like it was a good episode, but I feel like compared to stuff that happened in the last episode, uh, it, it wasn't nearly as great. <clears throat> there was uh, a couple of drops in animation. Uh, art style was fine, though. There were, there were a couple of stiff shots a couple of times throughout the whole episode. And basically, the premise of the episode begins off with the students of the Academy in the Hidden Leaf Village. They're, fo uh, they're following uh, Kagura, who is uh, a descendant from uh, Yagura, which was the fourth Mizukage. Uh, there were obviously, like, really, not subtle, but there were obviously hints to him, uh, or those two being re related to some way, because there were a lot of, uh, just overall facial, um, similarities, uh, the fact that they both had the same last name, I just got done eating, by the way, so I'm kind of, you know, trying to breathe properly, but, uh, the episode starts off, we find, uh, May. May is in the episode for a solid, like, 10 or 15 seconds of the episode, so literally we see nothing from her because it, it was, was kind of weird. The last episode kind of hinted that we would see her, but she wasn't in the episode all that often. Or basically none at all besides the beginning. So it was almost like, what the hell? Why did, why did they do that? Was it just to get people excited for May for some reason? Because I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest like May like I don't I don't know what happened to May but like in Shippuden when she was introduced she looked like she was literally like in her early 20s like 21 and now she looks like she's like in her late 40s to like her early 50s like you can tell that she's you know you know she visibly looks different visibly looks older for whatever reason, and her boobs are sagging a lot more. <laughs> her boobs sag a lot more, which, you know, I'm not saying it's a bad thing because, you know, age comes to term with a lot of people, but it just doesn't make sense because it's only been, like, what, 10 years since the ending of Shippuden to the start of Boruto? So, I don't know, it was kind of weird. We get this scene where Chojuro, who is the current Mizukage, I want to say the sixth Mizukage. I don't remember though, he's going off on his speech, whatever, Boruto's getting fucking tired for whatever reason, I don't know. And Chojuro actually points out that he thinks uh, that it's kind of pointless as well. But he starts going off saying like, uh, adults nowadays need to, you know, go off on long speeches to discuss even the simplest of things but after all after that scene's over actually after the whole speech is over with uh, Chojuro 
Uh, Ka Kaguru and Chojuro actually have a conversation between each other, and Kaguru is basically saying that he wants to someday uh, give Kaguru the the placement as the next Mizukage. And we actually get a little bit more exp uh, exploration with the character because uh, Mitsuki, being the character he is, you know, being the son of Orochimaru, I'm sorry, I'm having problems breathing right now because I'm talking a whole lot. But, anyways, Mitsuki, you know, being the son of Orochimaru, he knows a lot of stuff about just people in different villages, especially Kagura. He knows that he is, you know, uh, p possibly the son, if not the grandson, of Yagura, the fourth Mizukage. He knows that he's actually uh, almost next in line to be the next Mizukage. And he's also next in line to join uh, the Seven Ninja Swordsman in the Mist. The Seven Ninja Swordsman in the Mist were actually referenced in this episode. Uh, excuse me, they mentioned that the Seven Swordsmen were like subpar of Kage level, which I almost don't want to believe considering what we had with Zabuza in part one. You know, he was supposed to be comparable to a Jonin like Kakashi, but apparently they're apparently they're they're almost Kage level, which is kind of ridiculous. Uh, yes, all the s seven swords themselves are very powerful within the right hands of the seven ninja swordsmen, but I don't know. Anyways, the episode continues on. They go to the academy, and for whatever reason, be uh, I don't know why, but uh, Chojuro decides to have Kagura fight Boruto in like a sword battle, in a sword fight. It was obvious that it was obvious that Boruto was obviously gonna lose. You know, considering that they, that in the Leaf Village, they don't do any sword training, uh, mainly just Taijutsu training. And it, it was just weird to put those two up together, considering that if he's next in line to be a seventh swordsman, then what was the point? So, anyways, obviously Kagura wins. Uh, then he starts having he starts having this like this weird mental breakdown after he fucking wins. I was like, what is he a goddamn psychopath or some shit? I don't know. It was. It was super weird. I don't know why it happened, but you know, it, it it did. And yeah, it was interesting. Sorry, I'm looking at Twitter. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm looking at Twitter. I'm looking at Twitter. I apologize. I didn't mean to do that. I did. I I I made another Twitter account for reasons that I'm not going to explain in the video. But I made another Twitter account, and now I'm getting notifications from other people, and I'm getting distracted. But anyways, the episode continues on. Um, they have this scene with uh, Boruto. He gets, like, this grilled squid. Uh, it's some kind of grilled squid from... I've seen images and pictures uh, of this scene, think, uh, comparing it to, like, episodes beforehand with, like, maybe Sakura or some shit. But I'm just like... Okay, whatever, it doesn't fucking matter. We already know that those two are gonna end up together because Boruto is actually given two of them instead of just one of them because the guy felt like he should give some hospitality and he gave him an additional one basically for free, I guess. And he gives the second squid to Savarda. And uh, I just, I actually just got done watching Swaikage's video on the episode and he said it looked like a penis. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't see it as looking like a penis, I saw it as a fucking squid, and now I see it as, like, the tip of a fucking dick. And now it's weird. <laughs> so, we get more interaction with Kagura, Borto, and even a little bit of Savarda. And he's mentioning that Chojuro, you know, if it wasn't for him becoming the Mizukage, the village would have just basically stayed as the Blood Mist Village. Uh, yes, there's more references to be the village being the Blood Mist Village. We get a little bit more backstory with Iwabe in the sense that he actually, his grandfather actually fought uh, the fourth Mizukage, Yagura, and he had killed him. Um, Yagura had killed his grandfather, and that was the reason why in the last episode he just doesn't, you know, like or respect the, the hidden mist village. It's because that happened. You know, stuff from the past affects uh, the present day, and that's kind of something that, I, that they actually mention. Uh, in the episode. 
and it, it was just it was just really weird, you know. But anyways, the episode con- continues on. We get a couple other like I guess bad guy characters who look ugly in design. Stuff happens, yada yada yada. Then he get, ends up getting fucking taken as a fucking hostage. Uh, they do this cheesy scene where they put like blood on the fucking glass uh, at Boruto's like fucking room or whatever. It says, "Oh, we captured your friend. If you want to back, go to this pier." Then he grew some fucking balls or some shit because he's like, "Oh, you don't have the fucking guts to kill me." You don't, ha- I, <clears throat> you don't have the fucking guts. And I'm just like, wh- wh- where the fuck did this come from? Like, wh- wh- where the fuck did this cr- come from, Denki? Like, what the hell? Anyways, you know, the guy keeps on talking, yada yada yada. Stuff happens. It's like, oh, we're gonna kill the son of the Hokage. I'm like, uh, yeah, okay, just... Hurry up! No one, no one, no one likes him, anyways. So, <laughs> uh, whatever. Anyways, that's the end of the episode, and that's the end of this video. Overall, yes, the video was okay. I'm, like I said earlier, I'm getting distracted by my phone. I apologize. So, that's the end of the episode. That's the end of the video. Uh, sorry that this video came out so late. I really didn't mean for this to come out as late as, as it did, but sometimes stuff happens in real life that you just get distracted. And at the end of the video, I, I actually am not going to put an outro, uh, just for you guys to just enjoy the, the song that I use at the, at the ending, but I'm actually just going to leave a moment of silence for those, those of you who have been affected by the Las Vegas shooting. Uh, I knew that it happened. I had gotten an, a notification on Twitter, actually, on my main Twitter account. With, anyways, I had gotten a notification from Twitter saying that uh, the, there was a Las Vegas shooting. And at the moment, at the moment when I saw it, you know, I, I just swiped it away because I didn't really read it, or I accidentally swiped it trying to swipe away an, another notification. And so I kind of just ignored it, right? Let alone, I'm seeing all these news clips. Uh, on YouTube itself, and I'm just, I, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm so dumbfounded. I'm, I'm so dumbfounded by how this of all things had happened in, in a world where, you know, people can legally get guns even without being, you know, mentally stable. The fact that it happened just surprises me because in some of the video clips that I saw they said that the guy who had killed like over 50 people 59 people he, he was he was just like us he was like me he was you know mentally stable he was you know he didn't have like any like criminal backgrounds or anything and then all of a sudden he just goes to Las Vegas and kills a bunch of people I don't understand how th- this of all things could ever happen how we essentially let it happen <sighs> anyways that's the end of the video I just want to give my condolences to every <clears throat> everybody that was affected even if you weren't there you're gonna be affected by it because it, it anything you know that's tr- that's tragic just affects everybody so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and lead the video off with a moment of silence uh, drop a drop a like on the video if you did enjoy. I didn't mean to bring down the tone of the video, but like I said, I just want to give all of you that were affected a moment of silence, and I'll see you guys in the next video.